Hello, distinguished professors, ladies and gentlemen. I'm honored to share my observations in this conference. My name is Huang Di from Harbin Engineering University. The title of my paper is Study on Heat Transfer Characteristics of Space Liquid Droplet Radiator. There are the contents. The first part is the introduction. With the development of science and technology, humans' exploration of space is getting farther and farther. The first picture shows the applicable conditions for different space sources. We can see from the picture that conventional space sources can no longer meet the requirements of long working time and high power. So the space reactor power, which can supply with the power from 100 kilowatts to megawatts, has become the first choice for the future space activities. For such a high power, how to ensure the effective discharge of waste heat has become one of the key technologies to realize the high power spacecraft. We can see the picture of space nuclear power system that the volume and area of a common radiator are large and do not meet the requirement of compact system. In this case, the liquid drop radiator is proposed as a new type radiator. The liquid drop radiator is a very promising new space waste heat export system for discharging waste heat generated by space droplet system. Its meaning composed of a droplet generator, a droplet collector, a circulation pumps, a droplet layer, a heat exchanger, and related pipes. Compared with heat pipe radiator, the radiation power of a per unit mass of liquid drop radiator is higher, and is easier to expand in orbits, occupies small volumes, and surface less damage from dynamic impact. There are many types of LDRs, such as rectangular, triangle, spiral, enclosed dish, annular. Among them, the rectangular LDR and the triangular LDR are considered as inflexible models for their simple structure. Compared with the tri triangle LDR, the rectangular LDR is easier to achieve and uh, transfer more heat radiation power. So in this paper, I will discuss the rectangular LDR. The second part is the calculation method in this paper. In the beginning, we should know what is the best droplet. The distance between any two droplets in the droplet layer is greater than or equal to 10 times of the droplet diameters that cause sparse droplets. And the picture shows the production of droplets. For sparse droplets, we can make some assumptions. The droplet can be regarded as spherical. There is a low temperature gradient inside the droplet. The latent heat of vaporization will not be considered, and the concentration size change of the droplet is not considered. Take the temperature of the universe to be equal to 0 K. So the energy conservation equation for the droplet can be written as this. When it simplifies, it can be written as this. Also, we should allow the radiation power of per unit mass of droplets, and it can be calculated in this way. As working mediums of LDRs, they should be with low vapor pressure, low viscosity, high emissivity, low absorption rates, low density, and so on. There are some candidate working mediums. For the space nuclear power system, the core outlet temperature reaches 1,500 Kelvin, so the waste heat export temperature may reach about 
850 Kelvin. The working medium that can meet this temperature are alumina, iodine, gladium, and tin. In this paper, we mainly calculate indium, alumina, and tin. In the third part, let me show the results. First, I studied the effect of droplet radiance on LDR. In this case, the indium is selected for set calculation. The initial temperature of droplet is 850 Kelvin. The emission speed is 9 meters per second. We can see from the first picture that the small Smaller droplet radiance, the more obvious temperature change. The second picture indicated that the smaller droplet radiance, the better radiation heat transfer performance. However, reducing the radiance can also increase the evaporation rate of droplets and then reducing the operating life of droplet. So in the actual design process, the appropriate radiance should be selected. Second, I studied the effect of droplet velocity on LDR. In this case, the indium is selected for calculation. The initial droplet emission temperature is 850 Kelvin, and the initial droplet radiance is 600 micron. The droplet velocity decreases and the droplet radiation time increases. So the smaller emission droplet velocity, the better radiation heat transfer performance. But decreasing the emission velocity of LDR will increase the radiation time and increase the evaporation rates of droplets and then reducing the operating life of LDR. Third, I studied the effect of initial temperature on LDR. The indium is selected for calculation. The radius of the droplet is 600 micron and the droplet velocity is 25 meters per second. For a single droplet, the droplet temperature changes at a different initial temperature are appro approximately the same. But compared from the second picture, the higher initial droplet temperature, the better radiation heat transfer performance. However, the higher initial temperature, the high evaporation rate, which is harmful to operating life of LDR. Finally, I calculated three option section of working mediums. They are alumina, tin, and indium. The first picture shows the temperature change of droplets with different mediums. The temperature change of indium and alumina are almost the same. And the temperature change of tin is greater. Also, from this table, we can see that, uh, that alumina is with light white, large specific heat, high emission severity, and large amount of radiation power, which indicated that alumina performs the best, and followed by indium and tin. However, the vapor pressure of the alumina is too high, which is not suitable as the LDR working mediums. Besides, the performance of indium is excellent, but the applicable operating temperature range is low, and the indium is expensive. In addition, as to tin, the suitable working temperature range is higher. So the tin is the most suitable for heat exchange medium. Finally, let me make a summary. The following conclusions can be drawn from the previous analysis. First, the smaller droplet radiance, the better radiation heat transfer performance. Second, the smaller the 
emission droplet velocity, the better radiation heat performance. Third, the higher initial droplet temperature, the better radiation heat transfer performance. So, reducing the radius of the droplet emission velocity and increasing the initial temperature of the droplets can improve the performance of LDR, but also reduce the operating lifetime of the LDR. Finally, considering economic factors and other factors, tin is the most suitable heat exchange medium. Based on those conclusions, we can do the following things, such as design and analyze the sparse droplet radiator, calculate two droplets that affect each other, as shown in the first picture, calculate three droplets that affect each other, that shown in the second picture, calculate the compact LDR, that shown in the last picture. That's all my reports. Thank you for listening. Thank you.